George. Mr. President. General. Mr. Hopkins. George, my boy, what can I do for you? Mr. President, I know I can speak with you on these matters because you share my opinion that war with Germany and Japan is likely. Likely? It's inevitable. It's a real thorn on my side that so much of America thinks that we can avoid getting involved. We are involved. Absolutely. But the day will come very soon when it won't just be supply convoys, but soldiers. Well, we have every confidence that you will have our army ready for us, George. Mr. President, having our army in fighting shape is why I'm here. As you know, the army is saturated with older, high-ranking officers from the Great War. It's my assessment that many of these men should be retired. Are you proposing firing the brains of the army? I'm proposing eliminating the fat of the army. I've seen it with my own eyes. Most of these men can't keep up with their troops. In the field, they'll get tired, they'll make bad decisions, and they will cost lives. Many of these officers are well connected, George. I'm not concerned with that. Mr. President, when this war comes, it will be unlike any other war thus far. Our enemies will be unlike any thus far. This will be a truly modern war. We need new blood. Younger officers with imagination who are not locked into the old way of doing things. Whatever you want, George, all you have to do is ask. What's this? My resignation, sir. The process of weeding out the unfit senior officers will go much faster and much smoother with the younger chief of staff. You name him, I'll train him and then I will step aside. You're not serious, George. I'll be awaiting your decision, Mr. President. He isn't serious, is he, Harry? This is George Marshall we're talking about. But no chief of staff resigns his commission just like that. Do you know how long it took him to get his first star? He's almost 60. He's a senior officer. Just like the men he's aiming to retire. He's not just like them. He's fit as a fiddle. I know what you're going to say, Harry. It's the principle of it all. Hogwash. No one gives up his career on principle or anything. The good of the nation isn't just anything. For George Marshall, that comes before his career, his life, and everything else. I guarantee he's standing on the other side of that door waiting for you to name his replacement. <laughs>